If you guys need help gearing up for any of the new content in Grand Theft Auto Online, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about all the bonuses, discounts, sales, and more that Rockstar have got going on this week in GTA Online, including some ways to make some free money and a whole lot more. So the big thing that Rockstar ha says was going on this week was a new vehicle that has arrived, and that is the Vetter, or V-E-T-I-R, however you pronounce it. Rockstar says the cavalry has arrived, the Vetter, available now from Warstock Cash and Carry. And on the Newswire, they say, what's waiting inside this transporter? An expertly trained spec ops force, a yard deep wall of primed sticky bombs, a mountain of product and a half dozen of vanilla unicorn star employees, whatever you want or whatever you want to tell people. The Vetter is now available from Warstock Cash and Carry. And you can buy it now for $1,630,000 or the trade price is one million. $222,500. So uh, that right there is the new vehicle that Rockstar has introduced this week. That is the Vetter. A lot of people are not super thrilled about this vehicle. In fact, it might be probably one of the worst ones from the Cayo Perico heist as far as the drip feed goes. But now it's available. I'm sure if like 1% of people are happy with this, then you know some people are going to enjoy this event week. But that is the new vehicle that has arrived. Now, other than that, Rockstar have some bonus ways in which you can make money this week. The first is double rewards in the Diamond Adversary series, where Rockstar says step away from the fruits and gems of the slot machines and get in on the real action this week. The Diamond Adversary series is paying out double to all competitors willing to brave close quarters combat in the glitziest and grimiest corners of the Diamond Casino and Resort. So I know adversary modes are not ultra exciting, but if you are very good at the diamond ones, then two times rewards is up for you. There's also triple payouts on mobile operation missions. So Rockstar says if weaponized vehicles are more your speed, you'll be pleased to hear that mobile operation missions are doing out a whopping triple the usual money in RP this week. Head to your mobile operation center and launch these from the console in the back. This is actually amazing. So these missions pay out really, really nicely. Uh, when there's no double or triple rewards, and now they're tripled. So if you have an MOC, which I'm assuming a lot of you guys do, since it's from the gun running update a couple years back, you're probably going to want to take advantage of this opportunity to end up diving into these missions, especially with three times the payout. So that is awesome. And there is also a hidden cash bonus that you can get as well, where Rockstar says, Intrepid Treasure Hunters and Seafarers who managed to scour the ocean floor for 10 hidden caches this week, will get a reward to the tune of $100,000 next week. Hop in an Avisa or Torador, turn on your sonar and get hunting. There's also scuba gear available in your Kosatka for those to prefer to get hands-on. So it's not a crazy amount of bonus money, but if you're just able to get 10 of these things within the next week, you'll get a bonus of $100,000 again. I know it's not a ton of free money, but it's better than nothing. And at the end of the day, you can't really complain about free money because it is truly just a bonus. Now, something else that is free, if you fly out to Cayo Perico this week and manage to complete the Cayo Perico heist finale, you'll earn yourself the Santo Capra pattern sweaters as a bonus. It's a piece that screams luxury, exclusivity, and high society. Mostly, it just screams. So this is what it looks like right here. A very interesting and fun design, I will say. So that is something that you can get for free if you have completed the heist finale, which I'm sure most of you have already done. Because it is a new event week, there is a new car on the podium. And this week, it is the Gratti Cheetah Classic. Rockstar says, once you've returned from Cayo Perico and you're done applying aloe, swim by the lobby of the diamond and give the lucky wheel a customary spin for the opportunity to walk away with money, RP clothing, myriad mystery prizes, and more. This week's podium is the This week on the podium is the Gratti Cheetah Classic, a sleek Italian sports car with the lithe muscularity and grace of a gazelle injected with performance enhancing drugs. A very interesting description. And as always, when there is a new vehicle added, we always give it a spin to see if we can end up winning. And this week, we ended up getting a very interesting prize 
because we actually got the mystery item. It's actually been a minute since I have gotten the mystery item, and I was kind of wondering what that would actually be, and I got my grenades replenished. Like, it's not very exciting. I was hoping for like a random vehicle or something like that, but I guess now I've got full grenades, which I don't even know what the money value of that would be, but needless to say, I did not get the car, but the Cheetah Classic, one of the best sports classic vehicles in the game, so I would highly recommend spinning every day so that you have the opportunity to ultimately win. Now, there's also a handful of discounts going on this week as well. You've got 25% off of the Kosatka Submarine, which is nice considering how new this is. 25% off of the Submarine Upgrades, Mods, and Customizations, also very nice. 40% off of MOCs, so if you wanted to do those missions but you don't have an MOC, well, now would be the time to dive into that. And then 30% off of the MOC Weapon and Vehicle Workshop. So some upgrades you can do to your MOC if you haven't gotten them yet. And then some vehicles, 40% off the Cargo Bob, 30% off of the Nagasaki Strider, and 30% off of the Ocelot Ardent. So that's what's going on this week as far as the discounts are concerned. You've got the same Prime Gaming rewards as last week. You'll still get the Kosatka's Submarine Sonar Station for free, along with $200,000 just for playing any time this week. And then 80% off of the Pegasi Osiris, and 70% off the Progen PR4. So those are your prime gaming rewards. And then the only other thing going on this week is the premium race and the time trials. The time trial this week is Khalifi Away with a part time of 1 minute 24.2 seconds located at the Zancudo River. The RC Bandito time trial this week is Little Seal Park with a part time of 1 minute and 10 seconds located in Vespucci Canals. And the premium race this week is Crossing Paths, which is locked to the Sports Classic class which would be a perfect opportunity to showcase your new Cheetah Classic. So there you go. That is pretty much everything that is going on this week here in Grand Theft Auto Online. Bonuses, discounts, sales, extra ways to get free money, and a whole lot more. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think about this event week? Do you think it's a good one? Do you think it's a bad one? Do you not really care about the new vehicle that was added, the VETIR? Just let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. Would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. and I'll see you guys in the next video.